and welcome to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. And looking at the big map, I see a couple things. One, the Byzantine Empire is still having a civil war. Attil looks like they've gotten maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, Zetsu, I'm not sure that it was more, I don't know if it was that they got conquered more than they uh, converted into an organized dualist faith. So this is considered Abrahamic, according to this. So it's it's along the same realm of Christianity, Islam, Judaism, but it's its own thing apparently. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, back where we are, I think we're going to try to see if we can pick anyone off here. So we have a truce with crew, but they're also raiding us. We're about to get back home, so there's almost no point worrying about it. Um, we could take these guys on probably without much problem. You do a holy war for this kingdom. Okay, that is more than one county, so. Let's go after this first, I think. Both holy orders are already hired. I probably should have checked that first. Oh no, they're not. No, they are. Hired, but we can request them despite that. I might just do that. They're already commanding an army, or she is. So we'll move them up here. Oh, right, there's a river. Let's uh, go down here and then we can try to regroup with that holy order that's going to be coming up here. They aren't going by water, so that's okay. Go house members, which we probably should consider. Seventy-two soldiers. 
Is that even worth it? So we can work all some stress again, which I guess we can do. They get a defender advantage plus four. Another defender advantage plus four. Now is that just for... That's just for that holding. Army commander. Really? Well, now you can select that there and do this. Now we're gonna. Now, okay, that's better. We're still losing. There we go. Well... That was a pretty close battle. Friend died. All right, so my spouse can buff people on my council. So they could either do the marshal, who will be grateful. 
the steward who will also be grateful. All of them will be grateful. Nice. Or am I shaman? They're all pretty equal. I might do my steward, though, just because money <laughs> and such. Not entirely sure where they went. Dear Olaroon, go outside. It's late and I'm tugging into a gripping Tristy on classical grammar just as I start giggling at some delightfully snide marginalia left by the previous reader. My husband enters the room. Spineless woman, you neglect everything but your studies. Reading indoors alone from dusk to dawn. Get your head out of those dusty scrolls or don't come to my bed tonight. So I can say as you wish. And I get plus 20 attraction opinion and he gains 20 opinion. Perhaps we could read excerpts together. My learnings increased by two, which would put it up to 49, but he loses 20 opinion. I need not lay with you. I have the warm embrace of my knowledge. I gain one learning. 100 learning lifestyle. And he loses 40 opinion of me. <laughs> I kind of like this one just because I get the learning lifestyle experience too. I can swing. Why was I swing her? Oh, was this, uh... No, I already took that. I'm actually not 100% sure why I was swaying her. Guess we can negotiate an alliance there. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but here comes their armies. In a liberty war. Uh That's less important. I'm obviously going to be busy here. <laughs> and they're obviously probably going to leave for that. God damn it.
Yeah, I would rather lower this and take away their council guaranteed council rights. I kind of almost don't care. <laughs> my lady, my high shaman, approaches me with urgency. A local merchant has a cut all right. I could take the book. I lose money, but I'm actually making money right now. Increase my learning by one. 50 life saw point. Yeah, I think I'll just take the book. Up. Take the book for myself. Though my parents have passed away for quite some time, I suddenly recall the warm, happy memory of them today. Regardless of my feelings about them while they were alive, even after death, my memories of them can bring me joy. So, I gain a little bit of piety for a year. And I won. Now I can usurp this title, which I think I will do. I'll start sending these guys over, I guess. Still can't. So I guess I'll just give this to another. Do I have any siblings that aren't dead? That don't have titles? Sure doesn't look it. <laughs> I think I only have one living sibling anyway. Ah. Hmm. That's right. Giving it to my daughter wasn't a, the best idea because she was married to someone else. So their kids would inherit both of those. And that could get weird.
So this granddaughter isn't in line to get anything. So maybe I'll grant it to her. Uh, which of these is the... This one has the duchy title. Maybe I'll grant this to just someone. Uh, preferably an adult. Definitely in our dynasty. Not a ruler. And preferably someone who doesn't have claims, nor is inheriting anything. She has a kid. Is that kid in our dynasty, though? Yes. Not our house. It is our dynasty. Then we can give this granddaughter. This and the duchy. All right, let's see. Three of these guys don't look like they're powerful vassals, unless she is, and it's just... So he can't be fired. This is really the only job he's good for. She would be a good diplomat if she would be good at something else. She would be pretty decent at intrigue. So... Could put her there. And no one's particularly good at anything, really. <laughs> All right. So, right, we're fighting this war for them as well. Let's go through and first, yeah, I think everything was re converted to religion, right? So I didn't have to worry about that.
And until Burrs is done, which is still seven years, I really can't do anything in my home duchy. Why can't I do anything here? Oh, it's full. Same thing there. Same thing there. Yeah, we really need burrs because that's kind of the choke point for a lot of these. Now she's not a powerful vassal. God damn it. Oh, all right. I just, I think I'm just swinging him because he had low opinion. Now they're... So if I call them in as an ally, their vassal wouldn't be able to come in. That's how I would understand this. So let's see what our options are. Just getting counties. Suppose we could do a war for accounting and then in the meantime try to uh, um, fabricate a claim. So it would be here. Must be some internal vassal conflict. It's, there's still some minute arms things that I need to. sort out, and I keep forgetting after each war. Let's see if we can. They might just run away. Learning perk, so disease resistance.
We should come back up here and try to actually conquer something. Work off some stress. Yeah, probably should. Let's go up here. Oh, they're already working on that. Well then. When studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, they all seem to agree that the world will end 6,000 years. Oh, right, we've already seen this one. Yeah, let's consult more shamans. So this should get us the ticking war score with their siege up here. Powerful faction. That's well, gonna be another. <sighs> wow, that was easy. We took this. Guess we can have him do this. It's like he just completed increased development, so let's change the promoting culture here. Um, actually, we wanted him to manufacture, fabricate claims, didn't we? Family members can get married. Okay. It's so my granddaughter. Who is the second one? Second in line. Uh, from my heir. And is actually currently the heir to the kingdom of Kanam if her sister dies. At this point, like, there's almost no one left that we can marry into to get advantages. So I almost feel like... Just going for traits. So I've intelligent. I don't like the hunchback there, even though he is beautiful. <laughs> A beautiful hunchback. Robust, that's even better. Let's at least set, you know, an age limit here.
So we still have the intelligent here. That's about it. Now, no, apparently they are not close enough to give a warning about inbreeding. So, excellent. And my grandson, which is my... Oh, are these twins? No, no, they weren't twins. But... So that's my third... My heir's third kid. So again, I think we're going to go for inheritable traits here. So hail... So far, maybe the best one. Hawkeye actually isn't that bad, either. I might go for beautiful, though. There is an inbred warning there. Not here, though. So, eight months for this dangerous faction. Right, so looking at the stars. I don't have insight to the heavens currently. So I, I now have 50, 50 learning. Twist and fill. Okay, so my rival's dead. Betrothed can marry. Alright, so that didn't take very long for her to become of age. Can transfer... Okay, yep. Alright. So you suck. You're okay. You're a little bit better at cash. Oh, he can't be fired. Right. So the only thing we'd have to worry about, so we'd be looking at martial or intrigue. And none of these guys are all that good at in either of those. Ooh, someone has a claim on the Kingdom of Jim. Ooh. I finished reading the latest letter from my vassal and smile. He seems to have warmed to me at least. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this victory is enough because I don't think I really need to sway him anymore. Let's sway this guy. Um, four months, so let's wait on this. I think that's going to be down here. So why aren't you... Oh, you're doing the county of Edo. Why don't you... Seven months. They'll probably declare it first. If I had thought about it, I would have just switched her over. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, what does her contract look like? Uh, yeah. So yeah, that was kind of a waste. <laughs> Moving her over there. I was hoping maybe they would delay, but no. Nope. Another Liberty War as a defender. I have two prisoners. Ah, uh, not even sure. Like, <laughs> I might just release him. The only way I might keep them is if they have good prowess, but he doesn't, so... Bye. It's what you get for, uh... rebelling against me. Alright, I guess we're going back up here. So here, I kind of want to get the duchy claim. So I think I'm just going to recycle this until hopefully he, I get one. It's, he's a great shaman, so we should have a decent chance of getting it. Lifestyle learning perk. Stress gain minus 20, so there's that at least. So my granddaughter, this is my second granddaughter. Yeah. Cause she's pregnant. So we'll need to kind of check out uh, the name of their kid when they have it. We need more Enotins in our direct line. Power of the Sacred Stories. Hi, Shaman often quotes passages from the Sacred Stories about the holy virtues. I should prove that I have paid attention by quoting a passage of my own, preferably one which complements his personality. Well... Courage 
maybe? Like, I wouldn't say fairness because that's kind of the opposite of arbitrary. Although compassionate, maybe. Like, there's nothing here that necessarily says courage, either. I'm gonna go with patience. He's pleased. Alright. I didn't get flattered, but I did get pleased. How's this war not over? Oh, they've occupied something up here, that's why. They want to move to over here. Ah, uh, sure. They give me a shit ton of gold for it. My vassals accused my daughter. Having an extramarital affair. All right. My sister died. Probably should. Uh, which one of these reduces less, more stress? This one, apparently. Should try to reduce some stress before I tip over. Just as my daughter and I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fr fright. They are heralds announcing its arrival, a massive boar heading straight for us. So you can say, its path ends here with me. A 31% chance I die. Only a 40% chance that I don't at least get wounded. That's probably not... Probably not good. I could... She gets a weak hook and I spend... Or... No harder to handle than a jilted... I gain friend of animals. Sure. Uh, which daughter is this? Oh, okay. So this is the one... My bastard daughter. Man, I'm glad I reduced the stress there. I thought I was too old to be surprised by the cruelties of this world, yet I never foresaw having the experience of death of my own daughter. Oh, she was... She was hanged. By her husband. I guess for being an adulterer. I guess she learned from, uh... She learned from her mother? Damn it, they won that siege, but I think I'm going to be able to kick their asses here. I don't even think that gave them any war score. But that did.
Why do we have two years left here? That seems like a lot. Why can I not move her here? Huh. Okay. With her high marshal, you would think. Don't know. Yes. So I get this entire now we probably still have a yeah. Does not look like we have a truce with these guys anymore, though. This is split in two touchies, which is kind of annoying. So I guess we can do that. Oh, they have a lot of... Who are their allies? Them, which again, we can get around by inviting them to the war. And then our vassal. Okay, yeah, that's not too bad then. Might even be able to bring in a... Uh Oh, we already have a thing here. Both of these are already hired, unfortunately. I've got an idea in my attempts to align my vassal to my interests. The right arguments, I may be able to convince him, blah, 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 95% chance, sounds good. So yeah, he's now plus 77. So there's probably not really a reason. Uh, we might need to sway him again. Work off some stress again? Yeah, probably. Yeah, I was able to take off a little more stress that time. He formed a new alliance with one of my vassals doesn't really help him. And they immediately started <laughs> sieging the settlements of the vassal. They just 
allied with. So, genius 200 IQ move there. We may need to make a claim on this place. Because I don't know... We could probably do a Holy War, I suppose. For just the county. Excellent. So... Where is he? So he's in line to inherit a duchy. It's not a huge problem, I don't think. Okay, this isn't... This isn't my father anymore. <laughs> I don't think. Not my father. My ex-husband. That was that. She actually has really good prowess. I think I'm going to recruit her. Strange rock. This rock is unusually shaped. I found it in my garden and find it an interesting little thing for it's beautiful un for it is beautiful unearthly so almost like a gemstone in a way. Maybe it's a good sign from Oluru. Keep it as a souvenir, I gain a little piety. All right, uh, guess we'll go back here, 22 months. Um, is there anywhere else we wanted to fabricate a claim? So we could just do the Holy War, uh, uh, we could do it for the duchy. What happened here? Huh. Well, we also had the uh, claim for this as well. Someone had a claim for the entire kingdom, yeah. Oh, it's him. Uh... 
Uh, I don't know about granting him more land. Was it a guest? Is the guest still here? Someone with 18 Marshall, I probably should. Oh wait, that's Marshall, not Prowess. She's the one who has it. Wow. Scaly. All right. I'm still gonna recruit you. Wow, you're expensive. You have the money though. You actually have quite a bit of money for once. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, okay. Yeah, we can just seize that. So we're 71 now. Almost ready to get this. Which isn't really... I might actually change this to... Medicine focus just to give us a small health boost as well. How is our health? Poor. We have a small health boost from athletic. We have these, but they're only countering penalties. And then, of course, we're a lunatic. Which is only a minor penalty, but eh. We haven't gotten, like, the one-year warning or anything yet, so... Anyway, I think that is where I will leave off for today. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope to see you here next time for Crusader Kings 3.